Well, why? I don't think it's working. Is it working? Why is it doing that? Come on. I don't think I'm showing up. There it is. Okay. I guess it's going. I got an error. So I just want to make sure that everything's working properly. And there's a delay, so it doesn't help when I'm trying to check. It's like, okay, I said delay right here. Let me look at the live stream. Am I saying the thing? Is it going? Somebody in the chat let me know it's still working. <laughs> um, King Thanos, it, was, it closed at 1.30. It was up for like two days because when I did the pre-orders of the, the t limit to 25 boxes, it was like... <laughs> Uh, it was it was insane. It sold in three hours, and everybody was like, "Oh, I want it back! I want it! I want it! I want it!" And then there were, you know, just like time zone issues and stuff. And I, and I did feel bad about it, um, but it was twenty five regardless. So I guess it kind of didn't really matter. Um, but I do feel bad, and I wanted to make this basically an opportunity. So the baby turtle box additional set that I got is because my local printer. That made that that like com, uh, compiled these for me. That printed them on the, like the really good quality stuff, the good thick paper. Um, he always does like an extra sheet anytime I do like the large uh, poster prints and stuff. So I had an extra set, and that's what this is. So, um, but I do like all my large prints like this. So I, I go through this local printer to do stuff like this for GalaxyCon. Uh, let me read through the chat here. So we got read uh, baby turtle boxes. We got incognito. Let's go. Stan the Slithine. Yo. Uh, and then King Thanos, uh, which I did comments. Steve Joseph. I see it. Thank you so much. Uh, how's the internet? How's the quality? Video quality, Mr. Joseph. Uh, incognito. I see it. Thank you. And King Thanos. LMAO, I know I was just messing with you. How are you today? Hey, man, I am fantastic. Living, period. I'm alive. <laughs> um, one of my new shirts, there are like three variants of this shirt because I, I am trying to figure out what uh, design works best, by the way, which is available below this video. Uh, you can see the store. You should be able to. Uh, great, with the lowercase g uh appreciate it thank you so much so awesome no stuttering no delays all that stuff i love it and that's thanks to plugging into the internet rather than going wireless so dumb but i'm happy it's it's working um so as we see we got the little spinny wheel here we got all the names uh everybody that entered it's in alphabetical order right now i'm gonna hit the the shuffle button on this uh program over here it's just a web link it's called wheelofnames.com so it's totally free you just enter the names it's so great uh and then it spins and then we'll have a winner uh velo veloco shark i really like that cute metalhead one thank you yeah that's actually one of my favorites um i don't know what else to do with it so it's sticker or shirt or mug i think and i'd like to do some alternate ideas but i think i'm getting like way ahead of myself like i'm not selling a lot of shirts <laughs> by the way there are a lot of things that i'm like almost every day putting up a new design and then i'm not really selling much of anything uh despite all the love and attention i get when i post the designs on facebook or twitter or whatever uh it's fun and i'm gonna keep drawing regardless and hopefully when i go to GalaxyCon this year i can just have like a a link like a, i'm gonna have a qr code so when people see a design hanging up that they can buy in a poster and, oh you have shirts because i get that a lot now i can say yes and then they can just go to that image scan a qr code and go straight to that shirt i guess i don't know uh just call me shark yeah <laughs> i have wanting to say velcro uh read yeah i know read what's up with that uh <laughs> there's like there's a handful of you all that um really support me and enjoy what i'm doing and i love it and support what i do financially <laughs> which is uh, always helpful. Bearded Duder, what's up? I, for one, 
am ready to wait wait i for one and ready i think you meant am ready for my babies in the i don't know what you're saying <laughs> um yes 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 this wheel <laughs> is not spinning and then we'll eventually stop we'll hit a button a button it'll spin super fast and then lock in but i'm gonna randomize it and stuff but i just wanted to chat with my peeps okay um where am i in the chat i already lost myself uh this slow wheel is killing me yeah <laughs> what if this was it and it was like a 10 minute thing and it just stopped eventually uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, this is just a just a little tease of all the peeps we got um, hanging out in this wheel. Um, we had 32 entries. Obviously, as you can see in there, we got some people that um, double dipped, quadru quadruple dipped, and then whatever five dipped is, <laughs> um, which is totally fine. Obviously, that's how raffle things are supposed to work uh fingers crossed we will have a chance to get these again in the future there's gonna be some something but it cannot be based around me building these boxes from scratch every time i sell one because that <laughs> god i never want to do that again by the way never ever that it just takes so freaking long. Um, yeah, and I honestly didn't expect those 25 to sell that fast. That was insane. Uh, so, yeah, so this is this is the set that we will be um, raffling off, or that we have already raffled, I guess. But, yeah, so this is, this is the set, the box uh, for all five of them. So you get Shredder, of course. Um, of course, you get the, 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 the boys. Oh! <laughs> and the backwards one, which was still backwards when I spun it around. This one. <laughs> God. I can't oh, I can't use this uh, screen and then do this and like look at it mirrored. It messes with my brain. Um, yeah, so we got all our little boxes, all our little We've got all our little boxes, our baby turtles. <laughs> Mad Hatter. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I, the reason why it takes so long is obviously the, the box itself has to get completely cut, folded, glued, and then I have to cut out pieces of plastic, which just come from existing figure boxes, like my uh, Krang box from up here. That plastic window I had I ripped out and I cut, so I had to make 125 pieces of plastic, 125 boxes. 125 uh, sleeve inserts to, to be color matched because I'm a weirdo and that matters. And then 125 of these little foot holders so that they stay in position when you put them in the box. How stupid. And then Shredder has to have one for his head. So he's got a foot base to lift him up because he's small. And then a, a cutout around his head to keep him locked in like you see in the, in the picture there. But yeah, so these have little cutouts. So I had to like... There's probably an easier way to do this, but I had to use an X-Acto knife and then just cut like little <laughs> circles because it's an X-Acto knife, so they're not X-Acto. Um, but cut those, fold all those up, and then for anybody that gets it or has already gotten them that might be in the video here, uh, the, those little pieces are in the bottom of the box already. You, If they come out, no big deal. You can just put it on the turtle and then stick it in there. But... The idea is, by default, that the little blue base is in there, and then you just kind of spread their feet a little bit, and then when you stick them down in there, you just kind of like sh shoehorn their feet into the uh, the holes, and that's it. But they all work, obviously, because visually we can see that. Uh, I forget who it was, but we had one person on Facebook already post an image that they got theirs today. Um, unless it came in late yesterday, but man, these little turtles have just, just, just disrupted the entire <laughs> collector community, at least those that like Ninja Turtles, because so many people are making things, uh, hold on.
which got me to like find anything that's like remotely tiny that the little babies could fit into. And this thing isn't perfect. It's from a Pixar movie with the I don't remember. They drive a blue van. They're like it's like a fantasy world, whatever. But they they kind of work in it, but it was just something it comes it's blue by default like this and then it just like <laughs> Painted it and then used some molding clay, uh, green stuff, to make the side of the van. So it's kind of a combination between the animated style and the Playmate style. Um, and I couldn't, there's nothing I could do to get this off because I wanted to like adhere it to the front. It is on there. Liquid uh, glued or, or whatever, what am I trying to say? Plastic welded or something. And then this thing, which I highly recommend, this is the second one I'm working on. Um, so I've, I've removed the arms and the legs, but this is, this is an item from Funko for Titanfall 2. And I've just, am, it's the second one I've done and I'm working on repainting it and doing it turtle themed. It's just super fun. Um, but these damn turtles and that whole accessory set obviously got me into doing the, uh, VHS and the posters and all those things, all those prints and stuff. And now these stupid things, okay. The, uh, they're available at Ollie's. So if you got an Ollie's near you, it's a Fortnite thing. It's like they're two bucks. And then you can take the uh, the back off and it comes with like some Fortnite weapons. But the idea, somebody else had already done it on Facebook. They made it into the Ninja Turtle one. But I got like six of these things. So I'm just going to turn it into, into random arcades. Maybe like Killer Instinct or something. Anything that's two player. So it makes the most visual sense. Um, and I'm rambling. What has happened to my chat? I'm so sorry. Let's see. Let's let's back it up here. Uh, well, you do the Sonic Collector's Edition figure. Um, like a review? I would love to review some Sonic stuff. But I don't have anything in the in the plans for it, I guess. How much could a woodchuck Wait, how much could a woodchuck woodchuck wood? It's uh, 43 and a half. Everybody knows that. Uh, to purchase? Will you have a chance? To, uh, yes, to purchase. To, for these things, <laughs> wow, really late to finishing your comment on my part. Uh, yeah, these will be available some way. I just, it's not going to be with me making them. Um, so maybe some, like, I'll pr maybe, maybe it's like, I'll, I'll print them and ship them flat. And then you have to construct them, which I know a lot of people don't want to do. Um, and I don't blame you, but... I, I've already been conceptualizing, and uh, I have an option. It's on this other computer, but where I took a picture of these with the characters inside, got a little bit of glare on there. Not that much, but just a little bit of glare. Took a picture of the front, photoshopped it. So there might be an option of these things where I ship them. You don't have to worry about the insides or the plastic or cutting the inside window out. And it'll just look like they're already in there. Kind of like what's happening here on, on the screen. So you just kind of have boxes that look like it. And then you can still do stuff with the turtles. You don't have to keep them in there. Which uh, might be a cool lower cost alternative too. Um, you see nothing. ADHD running hot today. So my brain is running way faster than my little fingies. <laughs> I, I get that. Uh, and it's understandable. Very time consuming. Absolutely. Plus it's, it, it pulled away from the channel a lot when I was working on these boxes, which really, you know, obviously is not good if the channel is kind of a, a goal. Uh, why don't you sell the print and have people do it themselves? Yes. Well, I, <laughs> what I had said just a second ago, you were already on top of that. Uh, oh, he didn't spin it yet. No. <laughs> yeah, that would be awful. I don't care if I get it or not. I'm just chilling. Hey, Shark, I'm, I'm happy to have you here. Uh, let's see. Hell chat one nine nine. I don't know what that means, and your username is pretty intense. Uh, let's see. This is a fun way to interact with community. It would be great if you did more like this in the future, like lives or this uh, specifically, the the wheel uh, raffle thing. I'm not. So here's the here's some truth about um, raffles. I'm actually not a huge fan of raffles. Like, in the sense of that's what you do all the time. No offense at all to Levi's Wrangler jeans. That's, like, totally works for him. That's – it's a business model. He's got, he's making money. It's cool. People love it. Um, 
this is just something I wanted to kind of do, and maybe it'll happen some other time. But it's like I had one of these left, tons of people asking me for them. Uh, and anytime I do these limited edition things, I always have somebody DM me saying, hey, I'll pay you if I can still get one. It's like, well, it kind of de it kind of defeats the purpose of having <laughs> a limited amount. Um, so I, I apologize. But next time. Um, so, yeah, this is just like a, an al a good alternative, hopefully, to get somebody in there. Yeah, good good old green stuff. Green stuff is uh, powerful. It takes forever to, to uh, be ready for paint, I guess, unless you use less of one of the other colors. And then it hardens faster. Uh, at the mall in Macy's, they have the Sonic figure in the Toys R Us section. Or in Target, yes. Yeah, I've seen a lot of uh, Sonic stuff. And kind of right in there with the Mario stuff. Usually not, like side by side, which makes sense. And they're always interesting. It's just nothing has really spoke to me as like, that's something I would want personally. So I haven't done the review on it. There's plenty of things I've done on this channel in review that is not something I would personally buy, but a friend has sent it to review, like the Popeye figure. Um, and then I'm really surprised and impressed with them when I actually get it in my hands. How else are we supposed to get our totally legit Amazon gift cards? Is that something that happens on there? Uh, Street Fighter 2 arcade game. Yes, for this thing, that would be a good option. Street Fighter 2, Killer Instinct, uh, what was the one with um, dinosaurs that fought? You could just be like random dinosaurs and fight. And there were little um, Neanderthals, which of course didn't exist at the exact same time, but you could eat them to get your health up. Wyatt's Perspective, what's up? Welcome to the channel and the live and the all that jazz. And I'm drinking a little bit of coffee from a local local coffee shop got to get my energy up it's kind of it's it's i'm losing it prime primal was it just primal primal rage maybe rampage not rampage but i th i think we're all adding pieces of it i th primal rage right <laughs> yes all right um so what do you want to do should we just get into this? And does anybody want to talk a little bit more? Ask me some questions or anything? Maybe about these little babies? Maybe about this whole process? Maybe about shirts? Does anybody want to cue some uh, <laughs> branding uh, comments? All right. And by the way, anybody that gets these baby boxes that has ordered the other. No, you know what? It's going to be a surprise when you get it. Not, I'm not going to say it now. Uh, Stan is like, spin, my God, why are we here? Just spin this stupid thing. All right, so let, let's shuffle these names a little bit. Um, I'm just going to hit it a bunch of times. You should be seeing those names change. Um, so we're just shuffling names just to kind of give it a little more playful um, layout, I guess. And, you know, it's like... Do you, do you want your name spread out more across the board? Or do you want your name, if you've entered multiple times, to be, you know, like four times in a row? I don't know. I wonder if there is a mathematical advantage to doing one of those things. Um, it's pure coincidence. I happen to be up at this ungodly hour. I get off at 7.30 a.m. So with my few hours of sleep, I say, good day, sir, and all the gentlemen in the chat. That is uh, very kind of you. Thank you for showing up. No, don't spin, said Stephen Joseph. Yeah, live streams. Uh, premium, sir, if you could put that shirt in premium, please. Uh, hey, anything that's on my um, store, if you want it in a specific style and you want it in a specific uh, like item, I, you, I can even do kids stuff. And somebody commented on a video, uh, my, my most recent video, I was wearing my, um, God, what's it called? Mermaid Man Barnacle Boy that I did. That's kind of in a Star Wars uh, style, poster style. So I put that on a shirt and wore it in the video, talked about it. Somebody commented and said my kids saw the video and they loved it. Uh, let me know if you ever have kids shirts. So I was like, kids shirts are alive. And then they disappeared. Uh, but, yeah, if you want 
there's three different versions of this thing, so you let me know which one, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and I will uh, make that available and let you know directly. Uh, <laughs> Steve, I like to watch it slowly spin. Yeah, is it maybe it's like a hypnot hypnotizing thing, and I can get you guys like now stare to the center of the wheel, and you want to buy my shirts. Let's see if that works. Hot damn, I'm glad I checked YouTube. Didn't get the notification there was a live. Riley Bob, I don't know what's up with that. But YouTube is crazy with stuff sometimes. Notifications as a creator get really frustrating because I always want to reply and engage and stuff. And sometimes I see a comment and I've never gotten the notification anywhere. So it's like I just happen to see the comment because I'm scrolling through the, the comment section. It might be like two months old. And I'm like, what? Um, Stan, I didn't, I didn't even enter. Just spin. How do I enter, or is it too late? Uh, Chatter, it's too late. I apologize. It was up for a couple days, and uh, it ended at 1:30 today. Kind of want the raft, but never entered. Uh, what is your favorite team and team figure you have so far? It's gonna be just the original NECA team and line for the movie, movie one, first movie. Those four boys. I, they're just too perfect. Uh, have you spoken with Hatter after you made the video? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. I, I wouldn't have done that if it wasn't something that we kind of had talked about before. We were just joking before. But he's, he's a good dude, and that's totally his kind of humor anyway. Uh, so now I'm just kind of waiting for his uh, uh, attack on me, I guess. Uh, has NECA re-released the Baby Turtles yet or said anything about it? They they mentioned to somebody in like a comment section or a DM or something that it's not a Target exclusive. It's just a timed exclusive, which means that they'll be available in other places. Like we saw with uh, Casey Jones, Phantom. That was a timed release, but then it showed up on other websites and stuff and local stores. So, yeah, I... I don't know what the deal is with that. And as much as as many are – what am I trying to say? AliExpress is selling them like left and right, obviously above retail because I, – and I, I never understand how AliExpress works. If the – if the uh, if like NECA doesn't make anything off of that because it's like, well, the item was produced. Does NECA get a cut and then they don't care after that? And then they'll sell them elsewhere? I don't know. But – yeah, there, as long as it's available in AliExpress, you know, that's option one, pay a little bit more, or two, wait, which I would think that NECA will eventually offer it on their website or something because it's still being manufactured. Uh, bro, I missed so much team and team figures in Holothon. I know. A lot of them are totally available, though. Like, it's kind of easy to find a lot of them still, by the way, at Holothon for this year. Um, except for the baby turtles, but I, I see the other ones all the time or in, in toy hunt videos that I've seen like they you can still pretty much get any of them uh, I just may need to get help from other other folks uh, in the community Thanks for covering the joy toy figure a while back was curious about that line would love to see more important reviews import reviews <laughs> uh, Import reviews. Yeah, that was a figure that that jacket just sold me uh, which she's like right here this is so hard to look in the video. She's right here. Uh, that, that video happened because I saw it on my YouTube feed from another creator in the UK. And I was like, man, that thing just looks so good. I, and it just was like a, a brain worm. But the rest of the figures they've made, so many of them are like super animated. They get kind of weird. Um, and, and like they, they just announced three new ones. Um, and what there's the quality is super awesome because of the soft goods they have a very uh <laughs> like they're all school girls so then it gets a little weird and i'm like maybe that's just too much uh i watched your review was the storm collectibles reptile really that bad listen yes <laughs> for like 80 bucks it's stupid i i still hate that thing uh that had a promo was chef's kiss which turtle line oh thank you by the way uh, which turtle line are you looking most forward to coming down the line? Movie Tune, Mirage, Ronin, Archie. So I, the Ronin line of all the brothers, I am super excited for. Ronin himself, or Mikey, whatever, just because of his, like, he's just worn out, aged, or whatever. 
I just didn't really like it, but then the brothers look awesome. I am a huge fan, so I guess I will end up, unless they make like a pre-version of Mikey, I'm not familiar with the comics, if there's going to be like another version of Michelangelo when the brothers were alive, but the, I yeah, I definitely will get the brothers. So I'll have three out of four. Um, and then beyond that, it's it's Ultimate Two in April. Uh, oh, and Space Adventure Donatello. Is AliExpress legit website? Yeah, it is. It's it's weird. It's a it's a it's it never feels legit, but you're basically just buying directly from Chinese sellers, and a lot of times that's what people are doing on Amazon. They're buying in bulk items like spatulas or whatever, and selling them on Amazon. So they'll get them for like a dollar because they're buying hundreds of them and then sell them for 10 bucks on Amazon or something. So there's like a whole business for people to do this stuff. Um, is it safe to order from? Yes, it, it is safe. I mean, you can check out with PayPal and stuff too. Um, I even recently got some stuff ordered. Uh, not figures or anything. I'm like getting um, soft goods like shirts and pants and stuff to, to customize a figure. Is AliExpress legit? Are those really from NECA? Yes, those are the Baby Turtles, all that stuff's legit. The Casey Jones and the Foot Soldier pack that's uh, been essentially reissued, which is a sign that it should show up again somewhere else like NECA or Target. Um, those are all legit. There are knockoffs that exist, but they're usually for like the most popular things. And I don't know if, they, if that's AliExpress or eBay where those are a problem, but definitely on eBay. I don't know if Ali is a problem for that. Um, but most of the stuff, if, if it's like, unless it's the, like the four turtles or something, movie turtles, they're usually not uh, legit. There are some knockoffs out there. Um, Nolan, hi. Thanks for showing up. Hey, has that video you mentioned last time you went live been uploaded yet? I believe it was one you did with Gary Dolan or was it Hatter? I just couldn't find your episode after you sent a link. Um, if it's the time that I showed up as some uh, uh, did a thing with Mad Hatter, it was TMNT Party Wagon. That is a Facebook group and a YouTube channel. So TMNT Party Wagon. You'll see us, uh, myself and Hatter. And it's also in my community tab on my, on my YouTube channel. So you can go through. Anytime I've been a guest on something, I'll put that. Anytime I've uh, been a guest on something, uh, I'll put it there. Okay. <laughs> uh, Chatter, I was in that also. Uh, yeah, Stephen Joseph is in that. So um, uh, that's his thing. That's his jam. Super Mario Brothers 3. Four baby turtles. Look at that. Oh, and um, look at those cute little turtles. Those emojis. Anybody that wants to become a channel member, you get custom emojis, by the way. Uh, I got a couple people that are in there. I don't think anybody's in the chat right now from that that has those. Um, I love those Ronin figures. If you read the comics, you will appreciate his look. No, I, I, I get that. And and maybe I should read it and then spend more money on figures. But any, any reason I can find that I don't buy more figures, I'm happy with. I was curious because I've purchased NECA knockoffs and couldn't return them. Um, yeah, I don't know how the that stuff, returns and stuff work, but yeah. Only the movie TMNT and Bebop and Rocksteady have knockoffs. Oh, okay. That's good to know about Bebop and Rocksteady, too. Uh, also, some of the NECA horror figures I purchased on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, eh. Yeah, you just got to be trick careful with that kind of stuff. And, and reading the comments and find comments where people, like, took pictures and clarified, like, oh, I looked for this stuff and it doesn't have the knockoff things. I bought Leonardo and Donatello from Amazon. They came from the U.K. They were in the single packs. Um, and I only bought them because the comments, the price was right, and the comments uh, or the reviews, they had pictures, and they're like, yeah, it doesn't have that issue, it doesn't have this knockoff issue, all the all the signs of a knockoff are, are missing. So these are legit. People were happy. So I ordered them. Mine are good. Uh, they essentially are, are like the GameStop versions, um, which are I don't think are as good because Donatello's uh, bandana uh, kind of like fades and, and is a different shade of purple. Oh, chat went quick. Uh, will you ever play games on an alternate channel? I was actually thinking about that last night. Um, and the answer is probably no. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, my my friend Moscato Bot Collects. Uh, if you guys don't watch that channel, go check that out. It's definitely um, he's a great dude. He's super funny. If you like, my channel is generally very 
pure in a sense of like the cleanliness of my the things that I say. Like I'll have some jokes in there that some adults will get, but not if a kid watches it, they're generally, they're not gonna get it. And I don't cuss on the channel and stuff. But Moscato Bot, he's unfiltered, which is great, and I do recommend that. Um, it's just not for kids, and it's really funny. He's a great dude. Um, but he, I'm trying, I'm pushing him so hard. I want him to stream his games because he plays stuff all the time, and he's super pumped and excited about stuff, like way more than I am about the figures, about games when they come out. So his energy is just like it's just, you know. Uh, just comes flowing out and it's hard not to enjoy whatever he's doing so i really want him to play games and stuff uh never fear epic is here yes epic disaster thank you so much for showing up uh shark ps my mom really liked the tmnt ronin because of how it's based oh that's awesome um i like when you can connect with parents on stuff my uh my mom and I um, actually have a lot of memories playing Zelda. So she used to play the crap out of those games when I was a kid. And then all the way up, I got her to play uh, Butter or Wee and uh, what was the one? Twilight Princess. She loved those. Uh, what did you think about the Marvel Select Abomination? Haven't watched review yet. Going to watch it once I get. Well, I can't spoil that. You got to watch the review. Beard Duder, read it for sure. I just started the Ronin book myself, and it's great. Well, I love it, and that is reassuring. So thank you for the recommendation. Chandler, hey, that's cool, Steve Joseph. I just recently discovered Gary's podcast. And remember Gary – well, it's Gary and Steven's podcast. Uh, and remember Gary ho hopping from the other Turtles group to create the party wagon. I'll have to try and find your episode. Yeah, Steven is – it's a duo. He's just not always in there because he's got a full family and a job uh, that sometimes takes him away the, with the, the, the kids and stuff. So his hours, I'm not, I don't need to defend Steven. He's a good dude. He's, he, it's, a, it's a duo. Um, what's the name of the Facebook group? It's TMNT Party Wagon, which he just said in the chat too. The second GameStop release of the movie Turtles were definitely different than all the previous ones. Donnie's bandana is more pink. Yeah. All the eyes are more realistic, glossy, and other differences. Yeah, it's so weird. Um, all right, so let's just spin that wheel. All right, I'm going to shuffle it a couple more times and then spin this thing because I'm sure some of y'all are just like, shut up and do the thing that we're here for. Here we go. Three, two, one, click. Who could it be now? Ooh. Is it going to stop? Oh, Jimmy Bonato. Hey, congratulations, Jimmy Bonato. Well, fantastic. I'm going to screenshot that so we so we have it. Obviously, it's a whole video, so we got proof. Well, there we go. Jimmy boy, are you here? Are you here? Uh, let's spin that wheel. It was so legit. The Marla B. Boom, boom. Yeah. Spinning. Spin. Stan. All he wants is the spin. Yeah. Congratulations, Jimmy Bonato. It's a big moment. Four baby turtles boxes and a shredder box. So I get to take my little boys out and then ship these things off. So thanks, everybody. What a day. Uh, what a fun event. It's And honestly, just the live videos I really enjoy because it's so much. It's honestly, as a creator, this is why I like the comment section and, and engaging in it and why I get so frustrated when the, when the notifications don't work and I miss comments because I really like to chat, chat it up with the peeps. You know what I mean? As the kids say, Cat, don't chew on the Ethernet cable. I need that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, like, I really love engaging with the community, talking, nerding out together. Because otherwise it's all just one-sided, and where's the fun in that? You know? I, I, I couldn't be doing any of this without all of you. Like, the fact that this is possible for me, that I could... I would have never designed these freaking things, even if I was just collecting silently without a channel. I would have never made these, but I'm like, I'm driven because I see so much like 
creativity uh, on the Facebook forums or Twitter, Instagram. There's so many incredible creators out there. And I just, I don't, I don't even know what triggered to do this for these little guys. I, I remember, usually I get those like shower thoughts where I'm just like, everything's just flowing. I'm coming up with something. What can I do? How can I, huh? huh? Sometimes it's late night. I'm in bed and I can't sleep because I'm just thinking about something I can do, something fun. What can I do? I need to be creative. My brain needs to be creative. And these little turtle boys, man, they just hit. It all came because I had this, um, the, the power play set. And I was like, that's almost the size that the turtles would fit. So I just kind of used this as a mock-up. And then just build all that stuff from scratch, drew the, the characters on the front. And everything is built from scratch except for, obviously, the turtle logo, right? The side images on the turtle packs, that comes from the accessory set. So I drew the images. I had to build everything else from scratch. The pattern on the top that has that, like, um, uh, hexagon. But, oh, and then the back of it, I had to build all that from scratch of the little babies, like their collect them all things. But the shredder one, since he, his little images, those are all from my collection. So the shredder box is actually more unique and custom than the rest of them. Um, so is this just like salt in the wounds because you guys can't get it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me catch up with the chat. Whoa, Cozen. Huh? Dang, man. Thank you so much. Holy crap. 20, 20 doll hairs. Good God. It's really nice to see those colors pop up in the chat, by the way. Thank you. Oh, my God. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you for the compliment, too. Um... I got, I got to get back up here in the chat. I, I'm sorry. So, Spin, congratulations. Congratulations, Jimmy. Whoop, whoop. Jimmy, congrats. Woo, congrats. Uh, please hit that like button, everyone. Incognito, thank you. Because that is something I always forget about. Good God. Hit the like button. And then hit the comments or the share. The I don't know. Do stuff. <laughs> um, where are we at? My kid yells at the cat all the time. Yeah, it's crazy. I... Uh, within the last week, completely lost a lightsaber and the hand, the hilt, because they come apart. They're gone forever from Mara Jade. They're gone. Uh, if you played Super Smash Brothers, there's this game called Brawlhalla, and it has TMNT. Yes, love Brawlhalla, um, and they had Adventure Time, which was a, a great add-on. Do more lives. Uh, yeah, I'd like to. I just need topics sometimes. I just can't think of anything to talk about. Uh, yeah, I have done lives before, and they are really fun, way funner than normal vids. Yes, and you don't have to edit, which is great. You just have to have a topic, and then, uh, you know, at least have something on the screen. Oh, oh chat. It pushed. I'm so sorry. Uh, gonna go watch that review. Bye, Wyatt. How dare me, Steve, with not including you. <laughs> I have family affairs as well. Yes, I'm on the party wagon. Just pretty much haven't posted since I was making Toon Movie Turtle paper goods. Um, that's right. Chandler, dude, makes some awesome stuff, by the way. Um, and I know we talked about, like, oh, we should find a way to collab. And then I kind of – we didn't. The last collaboration I did just didn't perform that well. I love the stuff in there. I, the, the, it's hit or miss with people buying this, the paper goods, at least – without me making them when i'm just like here download it and do it yourself <laughs> i might completely sell out of something or get a bunch of stuff sold like the um tv screens or the vhs and then other people nothing uh yeah and thanks again for the 20 bucks i oh, that's so kind of you uh thanks cousin oh my god bro your figure prints are on my boxes your figure prints are on my boxes your figure prints are on my boxes what does that mean <laughs> i'm so confused <laughs> seeing these I, it'd be awesome to get some biggins for the normal turtles so us weirdos that have six sets of tune turtles can put a set in individual boxes yeah you know if there's a I, I just don't know how to, like, because this is paper. And at this scale, paper works really well. But once we go larger than this, it's got to be some kind of, like, 
thick cardstock like uh, like cardboard, like act like the actual boxes are. And I'm sure it'd be super expensive to do that, um, and I wouldn't even know where to start. Because uh, I, I have ideas. There's things. Even these, I would love to find a way to mass produce them. Even though I I would do probably mass produce these boxes through like some Chinese manufacturer or something, and then nobody's really buying them, and I'm I'm just in the hole. Uh, let's see. Do live playing Brawlhalla? We could stream together. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I I would definitely need to do another uh, channel. I don't I don't want to flood this one with game stuff and and then even though I mean it's it's all the same uh, let me tell you you are going to be the next big guy and the Hatter going to battle for number one spot listen I, I've already started my battle with Mad Hatter with Nier you guys most of you have seen it Hans Dominique Sablon hi hello welcome yo go live playing Brahalla I'll join you uh, I'm going to Fan Fusion. Did you see that whole TMNT cast is going into this, including Shredder from TMNT 2? Can't wait. That's amazing. Not Super Shredder, the wrestler, but actual Shredder, uh, the guy. <laughs> that's that's awesome. I don't, I don't even know where Fan Fusion is. Uh, I think he means fingerprints. Finger, fingerprints. Oh, my fingerprints are all over your boxes. Is that what he means? I still don't get it. They don't really uh, collect fingerprints. Got to go now, Stan. Thanks for showing up. I see the message two times my fault. Hey, no worries. No worries at all. Um, you're just excited. You really want to play. And that's okay, too. <laughs> um, all right, listen. If there's anything you guys want to say, ask, whatever, hit, hit it up now in the chat because uh, otherwise I'm going to start – shutting down shop here and then letting jimmy bonato know that he won of course he may be in the chat i don't think he is i don't think so but if there's anything else now's the chance i think he was joking excitement because he was getting your fingerprints oh well it's possible it's on the inside of the plastic the clear plastic um, which I actually think about all the time when I'm taping a box shut, how much my fingerprints get captured on the other side of that glue. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm going to get, um, it's going to be a setup. Everybody here in the chat knows if I'm ever arrested and they're like, because we found your fingerprints on something, it's because somebody set me up. I was framed because I was trying to be a nice guy and give get stuff to people. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Did you say we were supposed to collab? Oh, man. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I've been incredibly unmotivated for a while now going through a whole lot. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I, that's It's never a good a fun to be going through crap and, and have to deal with stress uh, of whatever the different things are. I, I'm sorry for that. I am here for you if you ever need anything. Send a chat somewhere else. Um, yeah, I, well, I think we just kind of were talking about paper and stuff like that. I don't know. It's like I, I get excited when I see other creators, especially doing like the prints and things, and I'm like, oh man. But then the the, the print stuff was it was like it was super hot, man. I started with those TV inserts, donations only. If you want, a bunch of people donated, a lot of people didn't, and then I started selling little VHS sets, and then I had like exclusive sets, and it was just like boom, boom, boom. Everybody was buying everything, and it just like essentially stopped, and I was like, oh okay. <laughs> Nobody wants it anymore. And then I made these turtle boxes thinking that, like, people would be interested in it. But then, like, not actually follow through. Just like the shirts. Like, I'll, I'll post up designs and stuff, and people are, like, totally into it. And, uh, hey, Mike Terry, put some of those sweet custom emojis into the chat. I was talking about those a little bit earlier, actually. Um, but then I, I only sell, like, a few of these things. The the Android Krang in New York is still my best seller. Uh, even though I've made stuff specifically to go onto a shirt that I thought has been awesome and not awesome enough, I guess. Uh, Fan Fusion is in Phoenix, Arizona. Roger. Dang, dude. Thank you so much. Five bucks and a dancing emoji. I don't know what I like more, the $5 cash or the dancing emoji. Mike Terry, there you go. Look at all the little custom emojis those are all for my little drawings uh so now you can have your little custom metal head and chat and stuff 
Um, I think you could do that in a normal comment on a channel, right? I don't think it has to be a, in a live. If it's live only, then I definitely need to do more lives. Uh, Roger, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. That's uh, that's very kind. Uh, oh, I, I missed something. Oh, shoot. Uh, Beard Duder, before I forget to ask, what stand did you use for your homer? I got mine a few weeks ago and have no idea where to start on that stand front. Uh, I hate to say it, but that stand comes from Play Arts Kai. I don't think that they sell Play Arts Kai stands by themselves, but they make a clear one, and there was like a dark, really like a dark brown kind of black. Let's, let me, where's my phone? <laughs> right in front of me. I'm going to check real quick. But Play Arts Kai, those figures are pretty expensive. Um, it would be awesome if they sold the stand by itself. Uh, yeah, well, at least there's people on eBay selling them. They got some clear ones and stuff. So, yeah, there's AliExpress, eBay. Yeah, that, that is my recommendation because they can handle the weight of it. And if you could find a dark one, obviously, I mean, it just depends on your layout. The dark one works because I have a dark background. Um, but the, uh, yeah, yes, the clear plastic on one of the boxes. Yes, okay. Uh, Mike Terry, I'm I love you. By the way, anybody wants to know, Mike Terry is one of my best friends. Okay, and I'm sorry for the rest of you because you're not Mike Terry, right? That's a friendship that is very special. So special that I uh, officiated his wedding, even though he technically got married a few days before. So my my whole thing was kind of null and void. But at least I was there, and I was crying as I was uh, uh, saying all the words. That was rough, and I loved it. Sir, Sir, Sir D, uh, hey, uh, newly subscribed to both you and Hatter. Both of you are great, feeding into my TMNT obsession. Love to see more collaboration with you two. Uh, and just a little uh, info for you, Sir D, Ildo, that uh, my when I started collecting, Matt Hatter was one of the channels I started watching when I after I got NECA figures and I was like, man, what else do they do? And then I started seeing his stuff and I watched some other channels. But, yeah, it's it, there's a reason uh, there, there, there's a reason why he's just so good. OK, <laughs> it's because he's uh, his personality and everything. That's what makes it so uh, enjoyable. Even like he says, he's like, I don't have the production value uh, uh, value. OK, uh, I, I don't have that. OK. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm losing the impression, but he, yeah, personality, definitely top, top of the, top of the game. And, and he's more about like his thoughts and, and stuff now more than reviews, which I think is great because that's what we're there for, right? We're there for the, his personality. Uh, so more of that we get the better, uh, incognito. Thanks. Had a great time. Thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate it. Uh, challenge same here. Those sets I did were selling faster than I could keep up with. Then stop. Nothing. Yeah, but you were also producing them. It's like I, I was selling digital files, which at that point, obviously, like one person could buy it and just share it with everybody. But we're on the honor system here. I'm trying to make a little cash money. You know what I mean? For my hard work. Dynamic stands. Yeah, Rod, uh, Roger, dynamic stands. Um. There are a few out there. I actually have stacks of stuff that I want to do a review, but what I normally use in my reviews uh, are these, and you can change the length of it. There's additional claws you could attach, but it's an Obitsu stand, but they never show up on Amazon anymore. So my stack of stands to do a review in comparison is kind of like it's on hold until those Obitsus show up again, and then maybe they never will, so I just need to do something. Uh, myself beer dude thank you i thought our oh and a heart from mike terry of course because uh we're lovers thank you i thought our target had some at one point but only had the neca flat peg ones um so been on the lookout and just you know keep forgetting cheers yeah you can get the neca dynamic stand for 15 bucks And that should definitely be able to handle the weight of it. I think they make it in black as well. And it comes with a suction cup mount. So if you have um, anything that can be suctioned to, like a lot of people buying those uh, uh, IKEA cases or whatever, so you can mount that to the, the clear 
the glass. That's what it's called, not the clear stuff. <laughs> but that should definitely be able to handle the weight as a good alternative anyway. Uh, but the one I looked up, the Play Arts Kai, 15 bucks, they were the, that was about the average price. It just should be the same if you get the dynamic stand online. Don't go into Target because for some reason, I think they're like 30 bucks in, in Target. It's, it doesn't make sense. Ozzy, you're, you're the man. Love your work. Wearing one of your amazing Technodrome shirts right now. Dude, thank you so much. I wish I could, uh, I wish I could see that. Excuse me. Uh, and get the burpsies. Uh, yeah, I always love seeing anybody that gets any of my stuff. Like, even the baby turtles, the shirts, any of that stuff. Like, tag me on any social. I, I love seeing that stuff. And thank you so much for, for buying it. Um, obviously, I, I enjoy the financial profits, even though they're not always that great going through that company that my shirts are on because it's just like a print on demand thing. So the, there's not a lot of profit to be made off of each thing. But a lot of this stuff is just that people like my stuff enough that they want it. So when I see it in a tag on Facebook or Instagram or something like that, like the prints, whatever it is, I'm just always excited. It's like, it, it just feels, feels good. Uh, Positive Demon wasn't part of it, but wish I was. Loved the channel so far channel though sir <laughs> I, I totally made up the last part of your sentence thank you positive demon i definitely definitely appreciate that uh beer dude oh heck yeah it is going on a detolf shelf you are the best hey good luck with that i love it i'm so happy to be helpful in any way that i can but listen we're coming up on like an hour nine minutes away um i'm incredibly thankful for everybody okay um i appreciate the donations don't have to but I, I like that. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, don't forget, to, don't forget to hit the like button. I think that does make a difference in these live streams and stuff. It, pro it probably pushes it a little bit more to people. It's like, oh, people actually like what he's doing on this live, uh, even though it's about the end, about to end. Maybe more people will watch it after the fact. Uh, oh, heck yeah, it is going on a D12. Yeah, I already read that. Oh, man, those NECA stands. And how the clamp is at an angle. Oh, it is? Uh-oh. My favorites are the Obitsu stands. Obitsu stands. They're so low-profile and customizable. Yes. Obitsu is great, but those arms can snap because the plastic is so thin. It's thin on purpose to, to kind of be out of the way. But you can, like, if you start bending too much and the screws are too tight, you can definitely snap those things off. Um, none of them so far that I've messed with in, in – I have never taken the NECA one out because it's supposed to be part of the review. Everything I've messed with has like some form of like there's pros and cons to all of them. The Obitsu, they were super affordable when they were up on Amazon. And then the Play Kai is comes with the figure, but they can handle the weight. And, you know, they got enough positions to work, but the piece that attaches to the arm doesn't you can't tighten that it just it's just like a that <laughs> it's one of these so it get, it's just it can be a little loose um uh, me, 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 me. where are we at did you know that did you know that rock paper scissors um what's the thing rock paper scissors something spock i don't remember Maybe I'm wrong with the clamp being in an angle. Haven't woke up yet. Hey, you could be. I just have never opened a pack. Uh, did you pre-order the Naked Turtle van? So it was way ahead of me, or way before me in my collecting uh, phase. Uh, and for many months after I started collecting, I was like, I'm not going to do the tur the tune stuff. That's just too much stuff to get into. <laughs> Stupid me. Um, but I have a friend that was selling it a couple months ago. It's going to go to that friend whenever it does ship at the end of the year, and then they'll ship it to me, so I'll be late. Late to the game and the review, which is always great, but at least I'll have it. Uh, anyway, thank you all. I'm going to head out. We're going to close this thing down. I'm going to contact Jimmy Bonato and let him know, hey, man, you got some baby boxes. Hey. Uh, they're going to, well, yeah, if they do another set of pre-orders, maybe I'll do that and just have two of them. Why not? <laughs> That's a bad idea. All right.
Thank you all so much. We're ending the broadcast. Right after we challenge things, I got Marvel Select figures balancing via their crotches on Obitsu stands. So pretty risky since they're quite non-hefty. Got to go see y'all later. Bye, Shark. Peace out, broskies.